With just over two weeks until independence for southern Sudan, bomb attacks from the north continue along the border, forcing thousands to flee their homes. The violence erupted after clashes broke out between government troops from the north and southern-backed rebels in South Kordofan three weeks ago. I saw the bombs falling. The town was in flames. I saw mothers killed. I escaped to the bush with my children. The International Organization for Migration says more than 3,000 people have been forced to flee their homes in this latest outbreak of fighting. Around 60 families are seeking refuge here in Pariang. Now people came into rain season and this road of uh, Yao is not well constructed whereby even though if uh, end use have access to have uh, services to be delivered to those displaced people, it will be difficult for them to move to that uh, Yao. In the disputed border town of Abie, another 100,000 have been forced to flee since May. Fighting here is so fierce the United Nations is sending a peacekeeping mission to the region. The North and South were involved in a bloody civil war for 20 years until a peace accord in 2005. Independence for the South, expected to be declared on the 9th of July, is the culmination of that deal. The UN has condemned this recent violence and is calling for an immediate ceasefire.